M.I.A. was once poised to become the next big thing in music. The London born star was suddenly everywhere. Time placed her on the 100 most influential people list in 2009. She was nominated for two Grammy Awards and she even snagged an Oscar nom for her collaboration with the composer Yaraman for a song in Salam Dog Millionaire. However, Throughout her rise to the top, a singer was never away from controversy. Incorporating global issues into her music and visuals, at the moment everyone is motivated by hey I want to be a musician so I could be a billionaire. She dished during an interview with the Grammy Awards website in 2014. That has to change. When asked how artists can bring social consciousness into the mainstream, she offered up this advice. If you're really gonna change music, using music for what music needs to be, social commentary that has to go back to like it was before music became a machine. In the recent years, artists have gotten more comfortable supporting the cause they believe in from celebrities who've taken part in the Black Lives Matter protests in 2020 to others such as Billy Eilish who reference climate change in their music as it becomes the norm to be socially woke where has MIA been well here's why you don't hear much about MIA anymore even though she released her album Matter in 2021 Performing for a Super Bowl halftime show is a huge career milestone and the honour has been bestowed by some pretty heavy hitters in the biz. In 2012, MIA had the opportunity to rap alongside Madonna and Nicki Minaj for the Super Bowl halftime. As she performed a verse from Madonna's Give Me All Your Love In, the British born star decided to lock eyes with the camera, spit out the lyrics, I don't give a shit, and threw up a middle finger. The moment was brief and you know, was less controversial than Justin Timberlake and Janet Jackson. Yet the backlash was still just as swift. The NFL demanded 16.6 million as a result, while views were allegedly poured. While an undisclosed settlement was eventually reached, MIA reportedly didn't apologise.